Hey guys, Peter here to tell you about the latest from Orange Goblin, Science, Not Fiction, out July 19th on Peaceville Records. The album has 10 tracks, 51 minutes in length, and this is the band's 10 full-length studio album. They are a UK stoner metal band. Now as far as the design is concerned for a record like this, uh, having 10 songs in 51 minutes, you have to be conscious of not allowing the album to feel cumbersome or repetitive. And I feel like they did a perfect job with that because the album actually feels very dynamic and still remains balanced throughout. So it's a record that has a lot more movement than I was expecting coming in. And that allows the experience overall to be better and allows you to better digest what the overall record is all about. So great design that really enhances the qualities that exist within the record itself. Now, as far as the sound is concerned, I was surprised that the album was a lot richer, a lot more lively. It had a lot more texture uh, than I was expecting coming in. I was expecting the album to be very one directional, and that's not and that's not the case. The album actually has a lot more to offer. Uh, it's not an album that depends only on one element to survive sound-wise. It actually offers quite a bit of variety uh, in order to make the sound a little bit fuller, a little bit bigger, uh, uh, with more depth as well within it. Now, obviously, the group, the the fuzzier, the dirtier, the, the more distorted guitar sound is the main calling card of this record, of the sound of this album. You're going to find it on every single song, and that's pretty much the starting point and the finish line. But there's a lot that goes on between that starting point and that finish line. And allowing the guitars to have two roles on this album with two very different sounds makes the experience a lot better and makes the record feel, like I said, a lot more lively at times bringing in a more classic heavy metal sound to the guitars that allows them to penetrate and cut through that fuzz, uh, gives you moments of clarity within the tracks, it gives you moments of, of melody within the tracks, it gives you moments of grooviness within the tracks. And this changes your perspective of the songs. It takes a little bit away from the heaviness at times. It makes the songs feel like they have more direction, that they have more fluidity. Uh, all of it uh, allowing the tracks to have individual elements to them that are unique to them while still having that consistency uh, that spreads out through all, all 10 songs. So the guitars on this record are definitely not only the calling card but the main protagonist because also in the mix they're pushed into the forefront. You really feel like the sound of the guitars is the first thing that hits you. They are uh, at a distance from everything else. They're not disconnected from everything else, but they are at a distance. And the reason why they're not disconnected is because the bass sound on this record is really predominant. It pops a lot. So while being in the background, while being on the back end with the drums, creating that substance, creating that, that, that bass line that's important because it allows the sound to feel more complete, popping that much or having the bass be that predominant allows the space that exists between the where the guitars are and where the bass and drums are to be minimized because the bass is adding grooviness to the sound it is adding an, an element that matches well as well with the fuzzier side of the guitar sound so it never really disconnects completely it creates a sense of separation but that separation is at an arm's length and that a lot of it is due to that bass sound and how predominant it is throughout the entire record. Now, one element of consistency is the vocals. The vocals are very consistent from beginning to end uh, and they offer uh, a sense of heaviness to the album. They add to the, to the thicker side, to the, to, the, to the more distorted side of the guitar sound. They add, um, they add great texture to it. They, they pack on it. And, and I felt like they were uh, the perfect outlet for an album that has this sort of soundscape, this sort of sound experience. Now, I was not a big fan of the lyrical content of this record. I just didn't connect it with a lot of the lyrics. Uh, but having said that, I cannot deny how good this album is from a soundscape standpoint and even from a vocal consistency approach. So from that side of things, this album was really enjoyable to listen to, was really enjoyable to process and, and navigate through across all 10 songs in 51 minutes. So it's an album that left me uh, with some you know, interesting songs that I can go back to. It's an album that offered me an interesting experience when I went through it, but overall, the, the lyrical content is the only element that took a little bit away from from over from the overall product that they put together in science not fiction now as far as favorite songs are concerned i want to start off with ascend 
the negative. Uh, great guitar riff. Uh, the guitars push out the song, and having um, that, it, it has that gritty, big sound to it. But it's a track that's very textured, very lively, very rich. And the bass sound at the end, at the bottom, it adds some groove to the way the track comes across. And then the the drums really help define what the overall volume of this track is all about. The vocals, as always, very consistent in their delivery, adding size and adding volume to the track and really helping define the song. But this is a guitar track, as they all are on this record, and the guitar sound and the textures and the nuances that comes with it really makes this song stand out. Next we have The Fury of a Patient Man, a more vibrant song. Uh, when you look at Ascend the Negative and you look at this track, you can see that there's a lot of similarities, but the differences is that this one feels more layered on the guitar side. It feels more vibrant, it feels more dynamic. It also has a little bit more of a drive. It's not as stagnant. It feels like it pushes itself forward a little bit better and alternates that, that more forward movement with some more methodic, melodic parts that almost grind the song to a halt. This allows those pockets, those slower pockets, allows the rest of the song to feel even faster, even more dynamic, even more fluid, even more exciting, even more energetic. It's a track that has uh, the vocals helping also define those two different moments, not only depending on the guitar sound to define it, but using the vocals as well to define the, mo the different moments that the track has. And then we have the Justice Knife. Uh, this is a more one directional and one dimensional song because the guitars feel more compact. They're not as textured, uh, they're not as layered, they're not as rich, they're not as lively. They feel more consistent. Uh, the bass still pops, but the bass, the way it pops, it blends in better with the overall consistency of the guitar sound, with the more um, you know distorted overall guitar sound. So it becomes a, a much uh, more concise wall of sound from guitar and, and bass together, a little bit harder to define uh, the limits of one versus the limits of the other, and it's a track that gets that gets its movement from it. That, that, that fuzziness really is what pushes the movement forward. The vocals add some movement to the song as well, but overall everything stays very narrow. It's a very narrow song, but a song that just because it's narrow doesn't mean it's not fun to listen to, doesn't mean that it doesn't stand out. I enjoyed the simplicity of this track because it was almost like removing everything that a song like The Fury of a Patient, for example, had a much more layered, a much more textured song. And then this one feels a little bit more stripped down, a little bit more bare bones. And that also brings in a little bit more of a live feel to how the track is presented. This is it, Orange Goblin with Science Not Fiction, out July 19th on Peaceful Records. Hit me up in the comment section, let me know your thoughts. I'll see you all at the next video. Take care, guys.